Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another video and we're going to take a look today just real quickly at the Hot Wheels 2018 Selections Series Custom 72 Dots and 240Z. So pretty cool, this has been, uh, we've been patiently awaiting this to come out, release and ship. Uh, basically, if you don't know what the selection series is for the RLC, you can take a look right there. It kind of explains it. The votes have been counted, and the winner is. So back about a year ago, uh, if you were an RLC member, um, basically you got to vote on. They had like a tournament of castings. And actually, I believe the standard Dotson 240Z was the winner. And then they asked if they should replace it with their planned new tooling, which is this custom 72 Dotson 240Z with an opening hood. Uh, the other thing that got voted on was the color, the wheel type, and all of that. So this is what won last year. People could order as many as they want. They would make as many, um, basically, uh, that they sold. And it looks like they made 20,000 of these uh, even. That doesn't necessarily mean that 20,000 were actually released and sold. Uh, it's possible that the number is actually a little bit less than that, but they had to make 20,000 of them um, for the run. So it may not be an even 20,000. At least that, obviously, it's probably not an even 20,000 that they sold. You can see my number is 13,639. I did pick up three of these, so I do have two extras. Uh, which they just shipped so pretty neat and of course we're gonna go ahead and get into it so yeah right now I think the winner of this last one of course was a 55 Chevy Bel Air gasser was the winner uh, of this last one and I think it's uh, already the colors already chosen and all that stuff I don't know when the order will be live when you can order them but that's got to be coming up soon as well so there's the packaging it looks really nice I'm really interested to check out this car, uh, mainly because of the hood. Um, so let's let's get a prediction right now. Is that hood going to be metal, or is it going to be plastic? I would really hope it's metal, and um, I really hope it is. It's got kind of a faux. I wouldn't really call that carbon fire. It looks almost like tire tread on the on the front. But all right. Well, without further ado, let's open it. That's supposed to look like carbon fiber. Looks like it's got a ton of detail just by looking at it here. We'll go ahead and pull it out. We'll set it down before we do any hood closing. It looks like it's got a plastic piece in there. Let's go ahead and just adjust the camera down a little bit and zoom it in and take a peek. All right, so the paint looks beautiful like it does on all of these RLC releases that have the chrome finish. Um, the detail looks absolutely great with the motor in there. That looks really nice. Um, the detail on the interior looks really good too, having the yellow roll cage in there. And overall, it looks really good. Um, this uh, hood is metal. We're going to take out that little protective piece that holds the hood open and go ahead and shut it. And it shuts very well, which is great. It's always a fear with an opening piece is that it's not going to shut very well. Uh, one thing RLC is doing this year, 2019, is most of the RLC pieces will have an opening feature. We already saw that with the Magnus Walker Porsche. And now we're seeing it with the selections release, which they were planning, I think, on releasing this car instead this year but since the 240z1 ooh, that's another cool was it no okay i thought those uh headlights were lensed for a moment they are not they're just a chrome paint that would have been super cool if they were um lens because hot wheels isn't really known for doing that on any of their rlc pieces so lots of detail you got some g ready licensing going on here Dots and racing, I think is what it says right there in the back, maybe. It's hard to read. It's very, very small. Um, but this does look very nice. I don't know if I'm really a huge fan of the yellow lined wheels, but it look, does look pretty good. And you got the uh, flat black here. 
to contrast the very shiny um, Spectre Flame paint. Oop, I just slammed that hood shut. Okay. So that's kind of neat. The hood actually kind of, now that I just realized doing that, it almost like c comes out and in. I don't know. It's it's uh, it's Mechanically, it's pretty sound. I think it uh, they did a great job on it. And from what I could tell, it is metal. It does feel cold to the touch here. I was kind of fearing it was going to be plastic. And, you know, that, that is metal. Um, very, very cool. So we'll probably see some more premium releases of this one. Actually, I know there already is one other one planned um, from going to the convention that's going to be kind of a, a chameleon-looking paint job that should be pretty amazing-looking. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that. I like this. This tooling is great. You know, I love my 240Zs. I love my Z cars. Um, always liked Z series, the Dawson's, Nissans, and uh, always been a big fan of them. So this was definitely a must have for me. Also, detail in here. The seats are also detailed. If you can see that, they're black and blue. So those are two toned. Actually, overall, I'm quite happy with this. I think it's very, very nice. Nice premium Hot Wheel. I'm really glad that too that they're moving towards a moving parts kind of thing or kind of an extra feature to their RLC lineup. Is that going to make them more expensive? Yes, I believe so. The old series RLC cars typically were $15 plus shipping. Uh, what I've noticed so far is with these next RLC releases, it looks like $20 is going to definitely be the minimum. And uh, they'll go up if they got like a figure like the Magnus Walker one uh, retailed right at 30 bucks right when it came out plus shipping. So, but very, very cool. I really like it. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my extras. I may hang on to one of them for a little while. But this piece is only limited to 20,000, you know, 20,000 pieces. But that's kind of a high number for an RLC piece. So, this should be fairly easy to get on the secondary market once everybody has theirs and starts to sell theirs. We'll see what the price ends up being. Uh, but I can tell you right off the bat, retail, they were $20 plus shipping. So what do you think of this piece? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, if you're an RLC member, were you waiting for this one? Um, if you're not an RLC member or wasn't an RLC member, did you, uh, are you going to try to pick this up on the secondary market? Um, what's it worth to you? I'd be interested to find, interested to find out. So anyway, very, very cool. Very cool car indeed. And, uh, glad to add it to the collection. And again, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. You can also support my channel by visiting my sponsor, uh, mascardisplays.com and using the promo code CHAMPION to receive 10% off your order. That is mascardisplays.com. They make some pretty cool car cases. And uh, you can use the promo code CHAMPION to receive 10% off. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a great day.